What is going on guys? Jeff here, Mad Hatter's Reef, coming at you with another top 10 because that's what you guys love. He loves the top 10s. And today we're going to be talking about zoanthids, so let's jump into it. And kicking things off with number 10, we have Oompa Loompas. Now these zoanthids are very different in coloration. Yes, they do have a fair amount of green in them, which most folks, once they get to a certain point, they're trying to avoid adding more green to their tank. Uh, but these guys have some very vivid coloration. Uh, one thing to be careful with this is there's a lot of uh, misrepresentation in the zoanthid. And to really get some of these colors to turn out, you really have to hammer it with the blues, uh, which can skew expectation. And then what you end up with uh, after you buy some online, it could be a little bit different. Now, as far as price point goes on these guys, I've seen them anywhere from 20 bucks, which I usually move pretty fast at about $20, all the way up to $75 per polyp. That's definitely pricey, in my opinion, for this zoanthid. Uh, and I don't want you to take that out of context because I, I think they're a great zoanthid. They're very uh, sharp in their coloration. This is probably the most catfish photo I think I've ever seen of Oompa Loompas. That isn't to say that these aren't a stunning zoanthid because they definitely are. This is probably just a photo to be wary of and it's going to exceed what you potentially would get if you were to buy some online. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 zoanthids is a classic. And I had to throw at least one classic in here. These are the blue tub zoanthids. Absolute classic. One of the most beautiful blue zoanthids out there. And there's a couple of different things I want to point out about this picture. Uh, one being, before we kind of get too far into it, is when you are shopping for zoanthids, whether it be in a store or online, something that you want to take note of is the coloration of the plug now if you don't really care and you're just buying whatever going willy-nilly uh, that's fine but for those of you that you know are a little bit leery about buying stuff online something to look for with your frags whether you're purchasing online or purchasing at a store is the coloration of the plug if the coloration of the plug is as white as what you see here it's a very fresh frag. It's been cut within a couple of days. It has zero algae growing on it, and uh, that's something to take note of. Not necessarily a deal breaker with zoanthids, but things like your SPS or Acropora. I would, I'd probably put Chalice in there as well. Uh, the animal hasn't had enough time to heal up properly, and there's a good chance that, you know, if you buy something that's fresh cut and it hasn't had that time to heal, that there's potential for it to die. And obviously nobody is going out to take their money and set it on fire. So something to consider. The other thing that I wanted to mention about the blue tubs is that there seems to be a lot of liberties taken with uh, variations of this zoanthid. When you look at the zoanthid, there's probably three different colorations of blue. You have like a very light sky blue, a little bit darker blue, and then like a grayish blue on the skirt. There are some companies out there, both big and small, that are calling their blue zoanthid blue tubs, and they are most definitely not. Some of them have reds, some of them have purples in them. A true OG blue tub looks just like this. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 zoanthids, Bowser zoanthid. This one is probably one of my favorites, and when you see it in person, it is pretty stunning. Not to be confused with the Oompa Loompa. I definitely think that the Bowser is incredibly more stunning than the Oompa Loompa, and it needs far less blue lights to kind of get these colorations out of it. Not to mention that it has probably two more colorations than the Oompa Loompa. The Oompa Loompa really has like two maybe three on different types of morphs where the bowser has green it has yellow it has bright red it has dark red it's a pretty stunning coral uh one thing to mention with zoanthids in general not just this one but as they kind of grow a new polyp it will take some time for that new polyp to develop the colorations as the adult polyps and that could be anywhere from a couple of months to almost a year for that coloration to really kick in and get into overdrive. As far as price point goes with this zoanthid, it kind of varies 
very similar to the Oompa Loompa. I've seen them as cheap as 30 bucks for a couple of polyps, all the way up to $150 for a couple of polyps. So depending on who you're buying with and probably also uh, the quality of the animal, uh, that's something to consider when you are shopping for Bowser's. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 zoanthids is the Darth Maul zoanthid. Now, this guy, uh, to get the full effect of him, you definitely need to put him in the atinic lighting. Uh, although that this picture is a pretty good representation of this coral in some whiter lighting, definitely still have a lot of those vivid colorations. It almost looks like lava in a way. Uh, as far as price point goes with this guy, you can pick them up for as cheap as 30 bucks, depending on where you're shopping. Uh, but they do increase in price substantially. I've seen them as high as $89 per polyp. So do some shopping around. You might find yourself a deal with a Darth Maul. Coming in at number six on our top 10 zoanthids is the Rasta. Definitely a gorgeous zoanthid, and this is a pretty good representation in the coloration that you get with it. Even though that it is a little heavy in the greens, I can't tell you how many people ask about this zoanthid. We have a few of them sprinkled throughout the store, and it is definitely an eye catcher. And more often than not, people are like, oh, what's that one? Or, whoa, the Ross is how much those are going for. And they're pretty decently priced zoanthid too i i've seen some internet prices that are downright shocking because i typically will charge about 60 bucks for a frag and usually the frag has you know 10 or 20 heads on it but uh there are some prices out there that are pretty jaw dropping so if you're looking to add a little bit of vivid zoanthids to your tank check out the rosters hey this video is brought to you by the letter z and z is a very important letter in the alphabet because otherwise we would not know what to call zoanthids so if you're enjoying this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that i upload a new video coming in at number five in our top 10 zoanthids is the utter chaos now this is probably one of the more vivid zoanthids uh, that you'll find in the hobby and you can actually look at an entire tank of zoanthids and as you look into the tank there's all these different colorations this is definitely a zoanthid that is going to stand out to you and i think the other reason that that actually happens is they really seem to glow under blue lighting uh, which is probably the best way to display the zoanthid now as far as price point goes on these guys it's all over the place i i've seen them as high as like 150 bucks for a frag and as low as 30 bucks for a frag so definitely worth doing some shopping before you commit uh, to pick one of these guys up. Coming in at number four on our top 10 zoanthids is the Pikachu zoanthid. Now, as far as zoanthids go, there's not a lot of yellow ones out there. And this one not only has yellow, it also has a sky blue center. So yellow and blue, definitely not common colorations. Uh, even though that this isn't a very common zoanthid price point on these guys isn't horrible considering what they are they range from fifty dollars per frag all the way up to eighty dollars per frag i'm sure it goes way higher than that because there's always that one guy but if you're looking to add a little bit of yellow coloration to your reef tank check out the pikachu zoanthid and coming in at the number three spot, we have the Jedi Mind Trick Zoanthid. The coloration on this guy is like, whoa. But, but, there's one but there. Well, maybe there's more like three. Nevertheless, there is one word of caution with this. Most of the photos that I've seen on this Zoanthid are pretty blown out. Uh, looks like there's some doctoring going on. And there's not a lot of information on this Zoanthid. The price point isn't horrible considering the coloration of this guy and it's probably an opportunity for those of you that grow zoanthids really well uh, to pick one of these up and make a little bit of coin coloration in the skirt is phenomenal definitely an interesting zoanthid and i'd love to check one out in person and coming in at the number two spot we have the aois these are one of my most favorite zoanthids and if you can get a large colony together like this right here, it is absolutely stunning in a reef tank setting. They're not very common and they are a little bit on the pricey side, even though that the prices have come down over the last couple of years. They're just incredibly slow growing and I think that really has a lot to do with their price point. Check them out. The AOI Zoanthid. Time out from the game. We're going to get back to number one here in a second. 
Never mind this towel. This towel needs to be thrown out. It's gross. Well, I want to give you a little bit of something extra in this top 10. And it's something to look for with your zoanthids and potentially having some type of fish that is in your tank that could be potentially eating your zoanthids. Now, if you notice that your zoanthids are closing up, uh, there's a good chance that something is bothering them, potentially something that you can't see. Now, last night when I left, I added these zoanthids to the tank. We got one here, one there, one there, one there, one there. Um, I noticed a couple weeks ago that all my grow up tiles that some zoanthids have gone missing. And I believe I got me a little zoanthid eating culprit. So there's a couple ways you can deal with this. One is just take the zoanthids out of the tank and you understand that you got a zoanthid eating MF in your tank. The other way that you can do is set up a little booby trap. I prefer booby traps, it's just my way. So what I'm gonna end up doing with this is I'm gonna set up a camera, I'm gonna set up the zoanthids in a way in which I had them originally and I'm gonna get the camera rolling and just let it go. Um, I'm not gonna put that on this video, maybe on a future video, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button and the bell, Make sure you do that so you can be in the know while I try to catch this zoanthid eating MF dirty towel. Now let's get back to number one. And coming in at the number one spot, we have the GMKs, the Grand Master Cracks. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video on zoanthids. But if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the subject of zoanthids, check this video out. I'll see you over there.